Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Fitchburg headlines on this beautiful Wednesday, July 19th, 2023. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you're with us for your TF headlines. We start with a road construction update and some good news here on Syene Road. Let's take a look here. This is a Syene Road pro uh, construction project between McCoy and Aurora Avenue. City of Fitchburg is improving the Syene Road uh, corridor there between Aurora Avenue and McKee, uh, McCoy Road, not McKee, McCoy Road. Uh, and as part of this, uh, it's got a couple of closures and we've had an extended closure uh, at Lacey Road and Syene Road for that portion of the project. There were some delays due to utility relocation. Well, good news, the contractor uh, has finished up the utility contractors, that is, have been able to finish up most of the construction uh, for utilities and the project will be able to move forward now. So the contractor will be working to have the Lacey Road intersection open by September uh, is what they're looking at. So uh, they got delayed again because of moving the again utilities uh, in the area and conflicts uh, there made it uh, well, impassable for both uh, uh, you and I, but construction uh, as well to move forward. So they'll be moving forward on that project. A full update was just released as well as far as uh, what is to come uh, as far as uh, week to week here uh, for the rest of July and going into August. That includes, uh, well, reconstruction the road there uh, up to East Sherrill Parkway and getting that part uh, started. So we'll have uh, more info as it comes in, but that is your update on Syene Road Construction Project. Turning our attention to the Fitchbury Public Library on a couple of different items. First, the 1,000 books before kindergarten program still in effect. The 1,000 books program is designed to help children get ready for one of life's biggest adventures, starting with school. One of the biggest, uh, one of the best ways uh, to encourage learning is to spend time sharing books together each day. As you read together, your child will gain skills that will pre prepare them for lifelong learning. If you want to learn more about the Thousand Books program, the Fitchburg Public Library, stop on down and check in at the Children's Library desk. Pop-up library as, uh, at Fitchburg Parks continues uh, through the month of July. Starting uh, tomorrow, there'll be a pop-up library at the Hugo Jamestown Park. Then on the 24th, they'll be over at the Aldell Leopold Park. And then the Southdale Park on July 26th, followed by July 27th. They'll be over at the Hugo James Park again. And the 31st of July, back at Aldell Leopold Park. Those times are 2 to 3 p.m. Uh, on the various dates. More information at the library's website. Brush Collection Week continues. If you haven't got your brush out on the curb, well, it might be not picked up this round. Don't worry, there's another round coming up. But this uh, continues now through the 21st. Brush will uh, be picked up Monday through Saturday, but not necessarily on your refuse collection day. Please make sure you have that brush at the curb and follow the rules as far as placing that brush at the curb. If you feel like your brush was missed or if you have any questions about the pickup, please contact Pelletieri. Their number is 608-257-4285. Uh, moving on, we have the summer attraction uh, discount tickets at the rec department. If you're interested in discount tickets, you can check those out right now. Uh, go to the you can come to the office uh, for uh, summer ticket discounts. Uh, that's at the Park and Recreations office. And they've got tickets for all sorts of fun, uh, including but not limited to, they have Noah's Ark, Milwaukee County Zoo, Mount Olympus Water Park and Theme Park, and Land of Nature. It's a new one that uh, has just joined in. Low prices, sign up or get those today. They'll be sold until Friday, August 18th. Want to remind you that you can check out FACT TV all over the place, whether it's online through our many live uh, streaming portals. We stream our channels, the Gov channel and the Com channel, the one you're watching, including checking us out on social media, Facebook and YouTube for the latest videos and updates on what's happening here at Fact TV. We got you covered on everything you need to know here in the city of Fitchburg. And have a great day, everybody.